So quick update time. Currently I'm in the dining room. You can see I've started to put things in here. So my record player's over there along with a couple of cool light bulbs, which I'll be able to show you. But we're in here today because I've got to do some work on the constructional hearth. So I'll point this out in a minute. In fact, I'll show you one that is good uh, and then I'll show you the one that is in here that's bad. I wanted to tile it, so I took up the old tiles. Here's a picture of the tiles as they looked before I went and attacked them. And as you can see in the second picture, I've started taking those tiles away and they've been laid with cement rather than any kind of tile adhesive. That cement has stuck to, I guess bonded somehow, uh, with the base layer in the constructional hearth. So the hearth underneath is built up with a load of junk, Victorian junk, who knows, bricks, rubble, iron slag, that kind of thing. And then there's a layer of concrete on top. Um, and my one's coming apart a bit. So this is the current dining room. You'll notice that came off the wall. It used to be up there um, in the top corner, but I took it down and I was gonna put it in the skip, but it turns out that's at least as old as the house. So I'm gonna keep it in the corner. It looks okay. Um, so the floors look lovely in here and I had started using it as a dining room. So I've got my dining room table there and I had a nice big rug and I've got my, my record player and stuff out. These cool bulbs bought this one from John Lewis. Isn't that awesome? It's got these amazing kind of, oops, reflections as you walk around because this is sort of domed or divoted. And then I've got this other one, which was a lot cheaper. <laughs> but it's nice, I like them. I wonder if I can change how these appear. Oh, there you go. So to the naked eye, you can see this kind of detail, but I just love that. That one that's on those concrete, on that concrete base, this is like called tanzanite or something. This concrete base has got a lovely little switch at the back. Anyway, back to the actual content. Um, so I've been starting to use it as a dining room. It was nice, but I wanted to sort those tiles out that you'd seen. So this is all sort of just rubbish. Just mud and rubble and then at the back there because I'm going to have to level all of this or take it down a bit so that I can level it. Um, I may get some help with the leveling but we've got these kind of big old, I should be wearing gloves here, big old bricks. You can see it's kind of got this brick look about it. So I'm going to see if I can take all of those out from there and the rest of this concrete, which it's very, very mobile. So it should be fairly easy just to one-handed, just to wrench this all out. And then we'll need to lay um, another base on here. Now, when you do these, it's meant to be something like 12.5 centimeters, 120 mil, 125 mil. Uh, when you've got like a, if you're gonna use a, a log burner, it's gotta be 125 mil underneath the log burner in the base uh, before you get to any combustible material. Now I'm not gonna put a log burner in here, but I could and it might look quite nice, but I'm not gonna do it. But I will at least get a nice, <laughs> a nice thick concrete base. I'm gonna keep like, uh, changing my mind about this, but it does mean I have to go back further, take a bit of that brick out, unless I leave a little step at the back. Um, I'll show you what a good fireplace hearth looks like. This room's turned out really nice. Like I'm proper enjoying it. So I've got a nice big old mirror um, and the fireplace is in. We've got the furniture in here because I'm working in the dining room. Um, but this fireplace here, so these tiles, were okay, like there's a bit of a crack in it and those ones at the back aren't laid properly, but it's solid and I don't need to worry about it. So this is a good example and it's exactly what it would have looked like in the dining room had they not put um, that big old gas fireplace and associated tiled concrete slab bits on top of it. So we're gonna tile again, Not probably not using 
Victorian kind of tiles, but maybe something a bit more colourful. I'm not sure. Um, I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to this, but I kind of figure what could go wrong? <laughs> like what is the worst that can happen? Um, there are some problems, so we've got gaps here, that goes down into the void beneath the floor. So if I was going to lay some self-leveling concrete, it's going to find its way down there. So I'm going to have to find a way to fill that up. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, really structurally sound, just as long as it's there and while it's just being leveled. There are other sections like this where, when they had, at some point, a proper fireplace surround which would have gone all the way around there and you'll see just over here as well. They've cut some floorboard out to accommodate that. Now I can't create some floorboard that's going to look similar to this. It's not going to have the same age, the same grain, so I'm going to cover it. So I'm going to skirt all the way around here. Um, you can see I've stopped the skirting just there so that I'm ready to do it. So I'm going to have to get some kind of large ornamental moulding, maybe I don't know, call it a large bit of Scotia to go there. But this is what I'm doing at the moment. So wish me luck with that. But I'll also show you some other bits upstairs. How's that? Because we haven't done a video for a while. Oh, it's dark. There we go. So I've painted my floor. I've gone with grey and white. And then I'm going to get sort of a a hessian kind of coloured carpet to, get, to be a runner. I've also painted up this, because I just use it to dry my towels in the summer. Painted this, it used to be sort of a, a horrid kind of yellowy colour. Uh, I've also painted the big cupboard at the top of the stairs, which is actually full of my All of my nerd stuff's in there. Look at that, that's such a lie. Current projects. I haven't done this thing for a while. Um, in fact, my bedroom's looking all right now. Hopefully there's no pants on the floor. So in here, I've painted the floor. Let's just uh, darken this up. I've painted the floor. I've made the fireplace look nice. Popped all my stuff in here. I don't have any curtains. <laughs> Turns out it's okay. Just means I wake up at like the crack of dawn. And I built myself a shelf to uh, to just act as like a, a rail, really. Um, that was the only reason for it. I like an open wardrobe. I like to see the clothes. Don't need to close them away. But it's just like a nice, simple bedroom. Nothing's going on in there. It's stalled. I haven't done any more work on it. Uh, down here, we've still got the the gorgeous bit of carpet that's been here <laughs> forever. And then this room is completely finished. The only thing that this needs to happen in here is it becomes my nerd room eventually. And I have started using it as a nerd room. Um, I've had a week off work, so I thought, I mean, this is currently my work desk. So when I'm working from home, this is where I am. But I've had the week off work, so I've reclaimed it for um, for nerd stuff. And I've been salvaging some of these batteries that you get in those vape things that I keep finding on the road. So I've salvaged some of these. Some of them, these ones don't seem to have any protection on them, but that's okay because I'd need to use it with a charge circuit anyway. So I bought a ton of these things a long time ago. Are you going to focus on that? No, nah, probably not. Um, it's a little charge thing. What are they? TCP for... 054 or something like that, I can't remember. But I've also been picking up old projects that I'd started. Oh look, you can see that. The uh, the binary crap clock thing. But I wanted to get this working again. Now, it, there is one thing, it mostly works. The only thing that doesn't work is when the hours tick over, it doesn't reset the clock. Or is it, yeah, no, when the minutes tick over, it doesn't increment an hour, which is, a problem and I seem it's so dusty because it was just in some box <laughs> um, is it gonna focus there there we go 
it was just in some box, but basically I'd had to put this network of diodes and connections leading back to the 4073, which was like a triple input AND gate, I think, um, which I'd also, <laughs> which I'd also done upside down and had to flip it over. And that's why some of this mess is here, but I did something wrong in my schematic. And I recently, I recently picked up KiCad again, installed it on my computer, but clearly when I'd wiped my computer last time, because now I'm Windows 11, so that involved wiping the machine, I didn't keep my libraries or my components. So when you bring them in, it doesn't have the right symbols for them. So I'm gonna have to start again. I think it's probably the easiest thing is just to start again on that project. I vaguely remember <laughs> what I was doing and it was, oh, Okay, I don't vaguely remember what I was doing. It was an evolution of the crap box, oh my word. It was an evolution of this. Um, <laughs> it was an evolution of it because I created that timing circuit. Sorry. And had to have that chaining increment. So I can't remember what ICs I've used, but those displays look really cool. Like I like how they're flush, sort of flush with the board sort of forgotten about doing that, but it's probably one of my last projects that I'd done. Anyway, I've got a blooming wasp's nest outside. Look at them all. <laughs> Just going into parts of the roof. It's not the end of the world. I've also become that guy that cares about plants. This is a Cavendish banana plant. Not gonna grow any bananas, not in this country, but it does have these sort of lovely leaves and it had babies, so. Although I don't know if they'll survive because when I took them out, what? Hang on a minute. It's got some mushrooms growing in here. Is that bad? I think that might be bad. Um, these didn't have any roots. Uh, so hopefully they root themselves. Tell you what pissed me off recently. Not really pissed me off. Um, because, you know, it's totally up to them. But the BBC recently changed their streaming stuff. So they used to stream MP3 streams and now it's is it AAC? Something like that. Either way, my internet radio will not work with them. I actually think the VS1053B. Um, which I think mine is. I think there is, it has the ability to play that. But um, I've tried um, using their new streams, even digging into it and pulling out like different, um, there's different protocol, I think. I can't remember what it was, but basically it's streams within streams. Could not get it to work, unfortunately. So I've now repurposed my Robert's radio to play some different radio stations. And they're One's called Pumpkin Radio. Pumpkin Radio? <laughs> I think. Either way, it does old British comedies, like radio plays, but also made for TV stuff. And then there's another one which is like 1940s, 50s kind of swing music, which is really nice. The only thing I'm going to miss is Radio 4, honestly, because that's what I used to listen to all the time. BBC World Service still has an available stream, but. I never really listened to BBC World Service. It was Radio 4 that I used to listen to all the time when I was in the kitchen. But then to the breaks, I guess. I know that there's a lot of other people that are kind of disappointed to see that happen. I mean, there's also people that paid for like internet radios and then now no longer able to, uh, to get those streams. I think it's because they want to kind of make you watch it in the BBC Sound app. Um, so it's frustrating. It's a bit of metal. What was it? No. I don't know. <laughs> I 
anyway, that'll do for today at least. There's still some things to think about. So if you guys have, I've never done any tiling before. First things first. Uh, I've never done any tiling. So, and I intend to tile that once it's done the leveling bit. I've got someone coming to help me with the leveling because uh, I've never done that before. And I feel like it's probably a really important step to have a good foundation to work from. So someone's going to come and help. Same person who helped me with the, the tiling in the, in the hallway, but I don't need him to do any tiling. I just need him to give me a good base to work from and then give me tips about tiling. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I've yet to pick some. There's a couple that I like. So there's this one, which has got like a blue pattern. And then there's these multicolored ones. The blue one are floor tiles, but the multicolored one are actually just wall tiles, but there won't be a lot of foot traffic on that. So I'm not really worried. I'm considering putting a damp proof membrane down um, before we do like the self leveling bit uh, to stop any moisture coming up from the soil and getting into the wood because essentially the, the top of that floor will be flush with the tile and it will also be flush with the concrete, which means it might bring up some, some moisture. Don't know, not sure. It's not the end of the world if I don't, but the problem with this kind of, this kind of fireplace, the constructional hearth is, it was sort of designed to have a blooming fire in it, wasn't it? So it would periodically heat up, like daily heat up to quite a warm temperature and that would evaporate the moisture that was coming up. But now these don't see any heat whatsoever. So that moisture is sitting there. I know it's, I know that stuff's like moist. So we'll see. I'm not decided, but I'll, um, I'll have a look at some forums and stuff and see. Anyway, I'm going to go. So I might leave you looking at the garden because I love the garden now. Look, I planted a little tree just out there where the uh, air raid shelter used to be. Um, I took up the slabs revealing just a load of bricks, <laughs> just a load of bricks all underneath the slabs. Anyway, I took some of those bricks out and I planted a little Acer and I also took some slabs out from down here, which um, reduced the size of that crappy patio that I hate. And then I put some weed fabric down and planted some stuff in there. Do you wanna see? Also been leaving a bit of my lawn to uh, to give to the bees or whatever else flying things are out here. So I cut a bit of it and then the rest is left. Right, that's where I'm gonna leave it. Uh, I realize I haven't taken everything out, but it is intentional. So you can see running outside here, there is still a bit of the old base. Well, I've left that because otherwise, I don't know what we're gonna do about the concrete just wicking out into the, under the floor. So it might just reuse the outer bit. I don't know, hopefully uh, the guy coming to help on Friday has got some ideas. Anyway, I took out the main bricks at the back. I actually thought they were cemented to bricks further down, but it turns out they're not, they were just there. So we can go right to the back, which is great, which means it's gonna be completely level so from the edge of that floor all the way back it's gonna look great um i hope so just here you can see this is the constructional hearth this bit here it's basically a load of rubble and then on top you add like a concrete base now this one oddly <laughs> it is a concrete base but they've scored all the way along this so this is across the whole thing, like scored across, and actually it's sort of split at those scores. So that's a problem. And the worst problem of all is this, which I briefly mentioned. That is a void completely underneath the floor there. So you have to find a way to pour this concrete and keep the gap. Don't know how to do it yet, um, but that's okay. Right, that's your lot. I'm gonna get back to work. Um, 
and maybe when I get to do the tiling, I'll do another video. I'll try to anyway.